welcome to Mountain Sledder Garage. Today we're going to show you how to make a removable snow flap for your Polaris Axis. So probably also work on the Pro chassis if you have that as well. Now there's been a big fad to shorten your tunnel um, to keep the rear of the tunnel from hanging up in the snow when you're doing technical maneuvers. And part of that is just not having a snow flap on. But there's some good reasons to have a snow flap on. We kind of cover that and go over that in our video entitled uh, Snow Flaps, the Good and the Bad. If you can look at it for that on the, snow, in the, on the YouTube channel, um, we go over all those things. What's, but the big thing about your snow flap is it increases your cooling going down the trail, which is really important if you have a long trail ride in. So we're going to show you how to easily pull this off, put it back on when you want it. First thing we have to do is remove the rivets that hold this on. If you've never removed rivets before, I'll show you quite kind of a quick way to do that. The rivets here, there's these three have already been removed. There's one left there. The problem with removing rivets is when you get your drill on here, the drill will make the rivet spin. And then as that heats up, it melts the plastic. So you have to keep the, dr the rivet from spinning. If we look up underneath here where our rivet is, our rivet's coming through the tunnel right there. So if you just put a pair of gri vice grips on the rivet, like that, so you can hold it, That'll keep the rivet from spinning. So we're going to go ahead and drill this rivet. We've got the vice grip on the back side. You can either use a, a rivet the same size as the hole or even a little bit bigger. So got that off. Now we'll come off. Usually comes off with the head of it on it. Be careful with that because it's usually pretty hot when you throw that away. The big problem with these Polaris snow flaps are when, once you get them folded up under here and caught in the track when you're going down the trail, they fold over all these little supports that keep the snow flap up. So that's one thing we're going to have to fix when we put this back on. Is we don't want it getting caught in the, in the track as you're going down the trail. So first thing we want to do is be able to hook this on here and be able to easily remove it. Okay, now we're going to need to hold our snow flap on here by installing these what's called rivet nuts. And you it's kind of like you rivet these into place. They've got threads in them so you can screw something into them. Um, you, I bought these on Amazon. They sell these in steel or aluminum. These are aluminum ones. They're a lot easier to install. They also make a tool to install these. Um, I ordered it, but I don't have it yet, so I'm going to show you the other way to do it if you don't have the, the tool. So what you need to do first, you need to drill a hole that's just barely the same size as the rivet nuts. So you want to measure this with some dial calipers if you, if you have them. Measure your drill bit. Make sure they're really close to the same size. I think this is an 11 64ths going to drill it back in the stock hole. Okay, then I'm going to install my rivet nut into the hole. Sometimes you just have to tap these into place. All right, now I'm going to install this. The threads in this are quarter by 20. I got this quarter by 20 hardened bolt. I'm going to thread through the back side. I've got about three-eighths of an inch of thread showing through. And I'm going to put a washer on there and then a nut on top of it. Then what I'm going to do, we're going to, com we're going to compress this rivet nut. Okay, I'm going to, I'm going to hold the back side of the rivet nut with a wrench so it doesn't turn and then the front side of the rivet nut I'm just going to Now what let that leaves us with is a threaded hole. We can thread something like this three-armed knob into. That's going to attach, let us attach our snow flap. Now we have our three-arm wing nuts. We have a little rubber washer on here. That helps them these from backing out when you're on the trail. Now you can just thread these down in here to hold your snow flap on. Now one problem you can still run into with the snow flap is you're bouncing down the trail, this starts flipping and it gets caught in your lugs and pulls it up under like this. You want to be able to prevent that. How we've rectified that problem is we attach another strap onto here that helps hold that up. One of these rubber straps, this is actually from a bicycle rack. I just bought these on Amazon, these little rubber straps. And then I have these little grommets that you can screw in here. Now I've already drilled the holes for these. Now let's have these screwed in by these um, metal screws. I'll probably replace these with a screw and a nut 
just so I don't have to worry about it coming out. So it'll be a little bit stronger and sturdier, but just to show you this, um, screw that one into there. Now, when you drill a hole up through your tunnel hole, you want to be really careful. Look on the back side, make sure you're not drilling into your, your coolant that goes across the back here. Your coolant runs up the top of your tunnel, comes across here. If you shorten your tunnel or anything, make sure you look across the bottom, make sure you're not drilling into that coolant. All right, now we're just going to attach this onto this up, upper one, and then just like that. And that'll help keep our snow flap from getting caught in the track as we're going down the trail. Now we have a removable snow flap on our Polaris. Now I wouldn't ride with this on all the time. On the days where it's snowed and there's six or eight inches of snow on the trail, I'm not going to have my snow flap on, but it's really nice to be able to pull off easily. Um, you unscrew that one, unscrew this, three arm knob, then it just comes off that easily. You can stow it away somewhere. I would leave it in my trailer on the days I'm not going to use it. On the days where I'm going to use it and I'm going to take it off after I've gone up the trail when the trails don't have any powder on them to lubricate my Hyfax and to cool my engine, I'll have to strap this onto my backpack or onto, my, or onto somewhere else. Nice way to do it to be able to pull it off, comes on and off really easily. It's really cheap. Um, if you want to go to the YouTube page and contact me, I can sell you the stuff to do this. The stuff's really cheap. You have to buy it kind of in bulk if you buy it on Amazon. So, so there you have it. Removable snow flap for your Polaris snowmobile. You can use this on most years. Now, if you, if you want a bigger snow flap than this, you can use this snow flap, which is a three inch track snow flap. This snow flap comes on the 2.6 inch tracks, um, but you can use either one. This one has more curvature to it, it covers more surface area. Probably have a little bit better cooling with this one when you're going down the trail. Anyway, I hope this video was helpful. Um, if you like these videos, you can subscribe down there. There's a subscribe button on uh, YouTube. Um, click that, and then it'll, when we have new videos come up, we'll, you'll be notified of those. Um, if you need the parts to make this, contact me. I can either tell you where to get them, or I can just sell them to you. Um, pretty cheap. I hope everyone has a great winter on the mountain, and thanks for watching Mountain Slaughter Garage. See you next time. Yeah.